Well, it's Thursday night, and it's day 20 of Pavlov across America 2011. Um, that means that tomorrow's our final day. We, uh, we're in Picayune, Mississippi, which is a really cool little town. Um, we're basically 70 miles from New Orleans, maybe less. And uh, this is a fascinating area of the country. We're very near to the ocean, you can tell. We are riding today, you can tell from the cloud formations that you are around something huge uh, that has a great force over the skies. And, and uh, from spending so much time riding near the ocean uh, in the Gulf region here, I, I know, uh, I know uh, that, that that force is, is the Gulf of Mexico. Um, sometime today, uh, around Hattiesburg, Mississippi, we just started seeing natural gas stuff everywhere. Uh, we've seen it a lot on this ride because uh, it's basically all over the country, but we've seen it a lot um, on today's stage and we're certainly in that area of the country where lots of oil refining uh, goes on, lots of oil drilling, lots of gas uh, pipelines. Um, my father-in-law, Joanne's dad, is the head of production for a large oil and gas company and they've got something like 2,500 rigs in the Gulf of Mexico drilling for oil. So um, you, you talk about towns like Houma, Louisiana, you know, which is where a lot of guys who work offshore uh, drive to and then are helicoptered out um, to the, uh, the, the platforms as they call them. Uh, this, is, this is the area of the country we're in here. Boy, after dinner tonight, I, um, I just really, um, everybody ended up walking by me or walking away from me, and I really, um, I just got really sad because um, I, know, I know what happens next. We go to New Orleans, we'll have our um, finish party at, at our fellow rider Wes's house, he and his wife. Have, have opened uh, their home to us in the Irish Channel area of New Orleans. Um, and then Saturday, it's all over. And, um, and I look forward to this all year. It's, uh, it's really, I don't take a vacation. I don't like, um, you know, I just, I, I just don't take a vacation anymore. This is, this is uh, what I do with that time that that would normally be used for vacation. Um, you know, when Pablo passed away, our lives changed. Um, Grady's at an age where he, um, on his spring break or whatever, he wants to do different things. He doesn't want to hang out with his parents. Um, we used to do things as a family. When Pablo passed away, um, all of that stuff just shifted and changed. and. Um, it all happened so quickly, I'm just starting to realize now, like, this isn't a vacation. <clears throat> I'm still working my butt off on Danger Bird stuff. I'm still working my butt off on the bike every day, <laughs> working for the non-profit side of my life. And um, this is what I choose to do, and this is how I choose to live. And uh, f for the 11 months a year that I'm not doing this, um, there's a whole group of people at the, at the Pavlov office, um, a whole circle of my friends, our crew, uh, Chad and Kurt, uh, have been involved in, in the logistics of this thing for the past year. And Chad Moore, who's our tour manager who's filming right now, uh, got involved more recently, but it's like it's been like everybody just gets all hands on deck about this. and. Uh, so this, there's a sadness that um, that I'm feeling like just in the past hour, and um, and I'm sad that um, I'm just miss Pablo. You know, I just miss him, and there's a focus on cancer kids that um, really makes me feel like I'm with Pablo. And, and, and there will be 
uh, it won't be like every day I'll be doing dedications to kids. It won't be like every week I'm going to children's hospitals to talk with kids and their families. Um, that doesn't happen all year round. I wish it did, but you know, other things jump in front of my schedule. Before we make our dedication to our friend uh, Zachary Green, who um, passed away from cancer, I wanted to show you um, some photos of Pablo. This is, um, you've seen this photo a lot. This is Pablo and I uh, at, at the Tour of California, um, Pasadena stage finish in, in 2009. <clears throat> and um, that would have been in February of 2009, I believe. That was the last year that they did Tour of California in the cold months. And we were literally standing on the finish line and uh, one of the pit photographers, uh, while he was waiting for the Peloton to come in, snapped these photos of us. And that's Pablo wearing his Mike and the Bike cycling cap. My, uh, my dear, dear, dear friend, Michael Ward, uh, who is a musician, also writes children's books. Uh, he writes a series of children's books called Mike and the Bike and that for those of you who don't know cycling that is a cowbell and what spectators do when the peloton rolls by is they ring the cowbell really loud and it's uh, it's really something um, and that's a photo that I use Pablo's tired in that photo he wasn't really sad he was a little bit annoyed like Papa where's the riders you know and uh, you know yeah, so that's that. This is me and Pablo um, before he was diagnosed. I had just done a time trial, and um, and we were at his friend's birthday party at at Silver Lake Park down the block from our house, and uh, I just love that photo. That 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 you see his face. That's Pablo. That's Pablo, and so many people have seen photos of Pablo without hair. Um, that's Pablo. He never had a haircut in his life until he had cancer. Uh, and then there's a photo that I wanted to show you that was taken. Um, uh, I think this would have been April 9th of 2009. Again, he's wearing his Mike and the Bike cycling cap. He always wore cycling caps, um, never baseball caps. And obviously when you're bald, and you're outdoors and you're going through cancer treatment you have to keep your head protected. This is at the top of uh, the mountain. If you can imagine where San Diego and Palm Springs are, there's a mountain in between and that's at the top of that mountain I rode up that day. And Pablo and his nanny Polly drove up uh, behind me. And up here, Pablo and I um, threw rocks, you know, so, sort of like right along the edge here, there's like you could throw rocks down into the ravine. Um, and we, you know, we did something that dads and um, and sons do from time to time when there's nobody around and you're out in nature, we peed down the cliff. It was pretty awesome. And um, that was Pablo punching the camera. Look at that fist. Isn't that funny? We had a lot of fun that day. Unfortunately, right after that, I descended the mountain and got hit by a car. Uh, and was in the hospital, but um, you yeah, know that was nothing compared to uh, what Pablo went through. So um, you know, Joanne and I are very, very uh, clear that the Pablo Foundation was inspired by Pablo. Certainly, we wouldn't have started a pediatric cancer foundation had we not gone through this journey with Pablo and and were we not cancer parents ourselves, but we're very conscious of um, the fact that this foundation is not driven by images of Pablo, and it's not driven by, by uh, putting, uh, hanging Pablo's image here and there and everywhere and getting people into that kind of a thing. The Pablo Foundation has to be about its mission. It has to be about the work that we do and, and the why we're doing it is because of this little boy and because of our journey with him. Uh, but, but the foundation cannot be 
a cult of personality. That is not something that we uh, choose to do. Uh, and, and, and I will say, uh, it is mostly at Joanne's uh, insistence and, and, and from time to time I'm smart enough to agree with things that my wife insists on and then I realize that she's absolutely right. Um, what we are about at the Pablo Foundation is our mission. Um, and, and out here on Pablo Across America, uh, our mission is, il is animated and illustrated in many different ways. One of those ways is in, is in honoring kids who are going through treatment, kids who are, who are no longer on treatment, who are just back in life, and then at night um, honoring kids um, who, who, like our son, have lost their lives to this disease. Um, nothing makes me happier than having a mission and then doing something with it, and that's what Pablo Across America is. Um, I am not a religious dude. Uh, I believe everybody should believe what they believe, and we should all respect each other. And the Pope, um, uh, a couple popes ago, said something like, faith without work is dead. And I thought, um, you know, that's a really, really smart thing to say because you can have all the faith in the world, you can have all the mission for a nonprofit in the world, but if you don't actually do anything with it, what's the point? So when we get on our bikes, or today in New Orleans we had a golf tournament, when we have a golf tournament, or when we have our big activation at the Voodoo Music Festival in New Orleans this weekend, where we're going to have like um, band of horses and fits in the tantrums, and Blink-182, all these huge bands coming in and signing for fans and doing acoustic performances. That's a way for us to animate our mission, that we're going on and reaching people, letting them know that kids get cancer too, asking people to donate a penny, a dime, a dollar, whatever they can, so that we can then use that money to directly fund pediatric cancer research and directly fund child life programs at hospitals all, all over the U.S. And of course, part of that is the Pavlov Shutterbugs program, which is our program that we bring into hospitals, um, where we teach cancer kids how to do photography, how to express themselves, how to externalize and get away from all the cancer nonsense, all the treatment nonsense. So it's our last night, and I have a lot of stuff floating around in my head, um, I think for a lot of good. Our dedication tonight is to a little boy uh, named Zachary Green, who's from Florida. Um, again, if you're just tuning in, I vacillate between speaking of children who've passed away in the present tense and in the past tense. I mean, no disrespect by this. Uh, as a father who's lost his son and a brother who's lost his brother to cancer, I um, my belief is that everybody is still with us, their physical body's gone. There has to be more to this life than just us sitting here in furniture and computers and stuff. I believe that we're here no matter what. And so I'll say Zachary Green is from Florida. Um, we met his father Steve um, on Pablo Across America 2009, which was our first year we met him in Florida. Um, Zachary was born on, on April 3rd, 2001, he was diagnosed with Wilms tumor on April 12, 2005, so you can do the math as well as I can, he was just over four years old. He just turned four years old, and on Thanksgiving Day of 2005, just a few months later, um, Zach and his parents had their last conversation. But imagine that. Um, his breathing was labored. They had to put him on a ventilator. Um, before he went under, um, they, his parents told him that they loved him and that they were proud of him. And uh, his condition worsened. Three days later, um, he passed away. He never regained consciousness. Um, his parents tell us he was a unique and brilliant child. Uh, he was perfect in every way. Of course, man, I, I totally get it. I bet he was a fun, amazing little dude. Um, his life revolved around his mom, Scooby-Doo, Hot Wheels, 
dinosaurs, trucks, trains, mud, beach, uh, and sand. Again, I mean, I could show you photos for the next three hours on my iPhoto. That's pretty much Pablo. Um, he is his dad's hero, and, and his dad, Steve, says that Zach is the best person he's ever known, um, and that he's missed every second he's gone. Uh, I'm going to do a dedication tomorrow night um, uh, from our um, Pablo Across America finish party at Wes's house. But this is the last one I'm going to do, like, in a quiet hotel room like this. And I want to say what an honor it's been, once again this year, to be of service um, to all of my um, fellow cancer parents. And to the siblings of kids who are going through treatment, who've been through treatment, and, and children who've passed away. Um, and the communities of all cancer kids. It's not an easy thing for me. It's not an easy thing for Joanne. It's not an easy thing for anybody who's out here. This is something that takes real heart. It takes real heart to be able to wake up every day and accept that there are kids going through treatment for a disease that, that, that is um, silent, that is, um, that is not to be seen, that um, <clears throat> is sort of like the best um, most clever enemy anyone's ever heard of. There are um, famous people throughout history, Julius Caesar, and Napoleon, and all these guys who are great warlords. Cancer uh, is a much better warlord than them, for now. And we're catching up on it, and what we're endeavoring to do is to, is to say, pediatric cancer has a name, and tonight that name is Zachary Green. Okay, tonight, that name is Pablo Castellas. Okay, these are real people. And uh, you can choose to turn your face away from it. And you can choose to find it difficult to look at my son. And to look at Zachary. But the fact is, these are real people. And... They were really born, and they really lived. And it doesn't make sense to me. And I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, and I'm going to keep standing beside Joanne as she does what she does. And we are lucky enough to have incredible people around us who really care about us, and who care about what we are doing, and who care about pediatric cancer because it could hit anybody at any time. It's a human issue. It's not an us issue. And thank God it's not my family issue. It's a human issue. And so I, I am I'm deeply honored and I have a force inside of me that I can't explain except to say that I didn't choose my son. He came to, to us somehow. However that works in the world. And he was an amazing, amazing dude. And he still is. And I'm going to keep doing this until the day that I am on a ventilator and take my last breath. You have that pledge for me. And so it's um, Picayune, Mississippi, Pablo Across America, 2011. Uh, tomorrow we wake up and we roll into New Orleans. And uh, we'll end up at the Children's Hospital in New Orleans, which is in Audubon Park, the famous uh, park where the zoo is, right on the Mississippi River. Um, <clears throat> incredible. Uh, we've done it again. When I get there, uh, I will get off my bike and I will know that I've ridden 7,000 miles in service of the Pablo Foundation's mission, uh, just on Pablo Across America. That's pretty incredible stuff, and I couldn't have done it without you, uh, and I won't do it without you, so thank you.